published extensions so here. So before we get into the financial part, I just want to make note of what's been going on around here. As you know, the we met on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. We worked in conjunction with the village government to close the town hall and start working on our essential and non-essential staffing. Today we declared the mayor and I declared a state of emergency for the town and the village. And uh, we scheduled some other department, well the rest of the departments, the highway, the airport, uh, Messina Electric is done there scheduling and uh, evaluating. Uh, the community center is still closed until further notice. They had WIC was there and the neighborhood center I think is still open. Uh, but the building is closed, the museum is closed, the library is closed, but as uh, I've sent out the note to while they're closed, the employees are in there, they're coming up with uh, essential and non-essential staffing levels to still provide patrons with uh, materials, books, and whatever else that, that the library has to offer. So, I sent you by email the uh, state of emergency. set everything up for to end on March 31st, March 31st as it stands now. Okay. Subject to change. Okay. It is confusing some of the state yeah. rules and regulations that are going down mm -hmm. middle of April. Yeah. I don't know if this is the time for it or if you want to wait until the committee reports, but we met with Frank this morning on staffing and the use of personnel during this particular period and MED did basically the same thing, right Sam? Mm -hmm. You can jump in if you, if you want. They're prioritizing tasks and responses. Uh, this is due Friday, renewing, uh, reviewing supplies. Non-essential workers guidance Know, what do they do when they're not working? If they're on call, they're on call, and they've got to, got to observe those. If they're not on call, then they're not on call. Uh, segmenting the work staff to stay open, to keep it open. Uh, they're putting a plate uh, glass window up in the lobby of MED to protect the uh, the workers, you know, it's it's like a, a movie theater thing, and they're still going to have to hand money in, paper money, but it's it would be they feel that it would alleviate some of it because we still I think they said about ten percent of the people do pay in cash, so in other words, they're doing the same thing that that all of our agencies are doing. They plan on coming out with a memorandum on um, until they get that glass in place. I don't want to speak for them per se. I'd rather have their memorandum come out. Um, they'd rather have people pay by, by check if, if possible. Um, there's you know, always that concern of contamination. We, on money, it could be on the check as well. But, uh, but uh, it's easier uh, with a check or a money order where they just put it in the mailbox or cash, you know. It's, Kind of tough to do that. Um, so they're coming out with a, uh, a mailer to uh, all the uh, ratepayers, and uh, I guess I would stand by for that. Right. Uh, under their direction, uh, employees are standing by. They're expected to be there. 
at a moment's notice uh, to respond if there is uh, a power outage or a necessity for their services. So some are working uh, remotely at home with their computers and, uh, and uh, doing what they can uh, that way, trying to keep uh, everybody from contaminating each other. So uh, something we're going to have to live with for a little while. Well, I, I mean, it's we're they're supposed the to self-quarantine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. They're supposed to stay home okay. yep. and be available yep. if there is a need for the highway, uh, the airport, uh, the town clerk is going to remain open, um, and well, you have your phone number posted if somebody needs something. Phone and fax, and both of our emails. Tax office is also going to have somebody available if there's any questions about the court. Court, but they're not accepting any money or anything right now. They're just in there working. One of the other things that, uh, as far as the town hall with our phone system, we're able to forward phones. So. Brenda is working from home, the phone will go directly to her cell phone. So if you want to play jokes on her, just call her up all the time. <laughs> call her at town. And at the highway department, we're going to a two-man rotation. Uh, basically, the shift work is over. There will be two guys there every day from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Uh, everybody's aware, just like they've been saying, that if there's a snow event or 